Normally here at the Honda Classic, there are 200,000 spectators for the entire week with the fan event starting on Monday. But this year, there will not be crowds until the first round on Thursday. Honda Classic Executive Director Kenneth Kennerly tells us last year's tournament injected more than $62 million into the local economy. But this year, the number of spectators will be much smaller due to COVID restrictions. Our approval from the PGA Tour this year was uh, about 10,000 fans a day, 20% uh, capacity. You know, we're still going to have a significant economic impact. I mean, while our fan base is down, um, people are still going to be out at the restaurants. They're going to be enjoying themselves. A short drive down PGA Boulevard, you'll find the Cooper restaurant, which right now has all staff members on standby and the shelves extra stocked for Honda Classic Week. This is the busiest week we will experience the entire year. But he also says while normally the Cooper restaurant has a 30% bump in sales this week, he says there's probably a lower ceiling to their sales increase this year. During the downtime, it's probably will pick up some of the sales. So probably another 15 to 20%, easy. Honda Classic leaders say last year they were able to give more than $5 million to charity, but this year with the smaller crowds, they're expecting to be able to give somewhere around $2 million to charity. Reporting from PGA National Golf Club in Palm Beach Gardens, Steve King, WPBF 25 News. And be sure to join us for on Wednesday night for our countdown to the classic, a special broadcast just hours before round one begins. Watch Wednesday night at 8 o'clock right here on WPBF 25.